the other thing, another, my last question is, um, how will we protect our borders from terror, terrorist per, uh, attack, attack? If we uh, decrease our tax bases and, um, and, and we don't have the necessary um, um, armed forces <laughs> to handle. I, I, I understand what you're saying. Uh, first, uh, with regard to uh, protecting our borders against terrorists, uh, well, let me back up a little further. You, you said with regard to the armed forces. We're not saying that we should get rid of the armed forces. Obviously, we need that, and that's why government is instituted in the first place, to protect us from predators, foreign and domestic. The problem today is that we don't have much of a national defense. We can't protect this country against any two-bit dictator who gets his hands on a nuclear missile. What we do have is a giant national offense. We have the ability to annihilate any country in the world. We have troops in almost 100 countries of the world as though we were the occupying Roman army. Uh, we have uh, bullied other countries into coming to uh, Washington and uh, agreeing to settlements that uh, the President of the United States thinks is good for them. And of course, we've been bombing countries around the world. It's no wonder that terrorists are trying to attack our country. They don't like our foreign policy. They don't like the idea that we are running their countries and they want to influence our foreign policy. And the only way they know how to do that is by blowing up the World Trade Center or whatever. If we would simply butt out of other countries' affairs, then other countries would be much less anxious to come over here and try to terrorize us.